today we see which enemies Mario can defeat with the star power-up. So we've got all kinds of enemies in this level. Let's first become invincible. Oh, don't want it to run away. Okay, Goombas and Galoombas, we can just walk into them like this. What about block steppers? Yeah, same with these guys. We can just run through them like they're nothing. What if we go into a shell? The shell? The shell is just destroyed. Same with the golden shell. That's a little surprising. Okay, let's get another power-up. Let's go to this Goomba stack right over here. The Goombas are all just falling down on us. We're getting lots of one-ups like this. Now, normally it takes two hits to beat this guy, but we just take him out in a single hit like that. Same with the Koopa Troopas. What about the Charge and Chuck? Yep, Charge and Chuck. Even though it has its helmet on, it's defeated in just a single hit like this. If we have Bullet Bill shot at us, we get points and they explode. Whoa! I'm surprised that these actually uh, don't explode when they come in contact with us. We just kick them away, actually. But yeah, the Bullet Bills, they just explode like that. Oh, oh, hold on. We're not invincible. We don't want to go into them yet. Let's become invincible. Okay, booze. You can defeat them by jumping into them. Same with this plant. Wait, can I hold this plant? Oh, I can actually hold the plant, but if I walk into it, then it's defeated. Okay, what about the big piranha plant? Normally, it takes two hits to beat the guy, but he's defeated in a single hit. Big Boo, also defeated in a single hit by jumping into- Oh, boy! I accidentally broke that crate. I didn't know that we would break the crate by going into it. Okay, oh! Okay, the big bullet bills are just defeated right away. Oh, wow, okay. And, uh, the ball bombs, when we walk into them, look at this, when we walk into the ball bombs, they just become, uh, they just become regular bombs like that that you can carry, but when they're too many together, then there's an explosion. Okay, what about the thwomps? I'm curious about this. Wow, you just defeat them by walking right into them. Same with these purple guys that are coming by. Okay, let's get this. This is actually so interesting, because I recently did a video where we did this with Giant Mario with the Mega Mario Mushroom. And, yeah, it's interesting to see how it's different with the superstar power-up. Like, what's different using the star power-up and the superstar power-up here? You know, what about these? Wow, we can destroy that. What about this? This one? Okay, we can't destroy this. This? We also can't destroy. Yeah, so Giant Mario, if he ground pounds, then he can destroy this thing nearby. Okay, so before we head down there, let's go into the warp box now. And that brings us back here, and I'm actually... Oh! Oh, we got hit by a fireball right away. Okay, so now we are little, but there are these three bros to defeat here. Okay, what about the bully? The bully's destroyed right away when they go into you. Hold on, where's that coin cough right there? He's destroyed right away. All the coins come out. These guys, even when they're zappy or if they're purple, you can destroy them. Okay, what about the fuzzies? Yep, just destroy them by walking into them like that. Not a problem. Little Goomba's defeated. This guy defeated. These blurkers, it looks like they're defeated. Yeah, because normally it's like you could tap them like this and they go away. But they do come back, but if you're invincible like this... And you just defeat them and they're gone. It's funny that each one is 200 points. It's like the points don't stack. Oh, and that's funny seeing these things shut out at you. Like, well, can I bounce off of it? Oh, I couldn't even bounce off it. Whoa, I'm surprised that that didn't defeat us. Okay, that guy we can defeat by walking into. Same with this ghost. These guys up here, we can also defeat them like this. I don't know if we can reach the guys at the top. Oh, we just barely can reach them. Gotta get them. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm curious about the uh, snow pokies. Okay, yeah, it's just like they come towards you like this. Oh, but this guy, he's a bit too high. Uh, I'm worried that our power-up is gonna run out before the snowballs run out. Ah! Run away, run away, run away! Okay, we need another power-up. Okay, so there's a spike throwing spike bars here. The spike bars are, of course, defeated, and so is he. And we can walk here, and let's see how long this power-up lasts. The star power-up really doesn't last a long time at all. And- Oh boy! Oh boy, I'm so scared that we are going to get hurt. Oh, oh, but we can do this. And here's another one for us. Now let's just go like this. And there we go! Okay, and now there are lots of- Oh, the snowballs are even bouncing into me because there are so many bouncing around over here. All right, and let's head along this way. If you've got a brolder, Oh, it doesn't get fully destroyed. It just becomes ball mode when you're invincible. Okay, but dry bones, they're actually fully destroyed when you go into them like that. Okay, and if we come over here, the splorches are just defeated immediately. These guys, you can't defeat them. You can ground pound on them, and then they start moving like that. Now, what about these ants over here? The ants... Whoa! That's so weird. I was just bouncing on top of him, but he wasn't defeated. But, hold on. Wow! Can you not defeat this guy when you're invincible? That's so weird. I'm just ground pounding on him. I did not expect that. I thought that you could defeat him with his star power up. Am I just misremembering? Whoa, 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 whoa. And the Conctor destroyed that block over there. Okay, so goodbye, Mr. Conctor over here. Goodbye, Mr. Flopter. Oh, wait, these guys. Yeah, you can defeat them, no problem. But this guy. How are we not defeating him? That's so weird. I could have sworn that I've done this before with the superstar power up and it worked, but I guess you actually can't defeat those guys with the superstar power up. Okay, so coming up, we've got a Chervark. Normally, this instantly kills you if you touch them. Wait, are we just, uh, not getting defeated by it now? 
Yeah, I guess you just don't get defeated by it while you have this star power up active, but you also don't defeat him. That is kind of surprising. And this is something that I was actually really surprised about. I had to do this again because when you're giant Mario, you actually are destroyed by the Charvard. But it looks like when you have the superstar power up, you don't defeat it, but it doesn't defeat you. It just goes right through you and you're invincible. And you might have noticed that these guys over here, that some of them are just destroyed, but you can also have the ones that are turned into trampolines like this. And either way, it works fine. All they have to do is walk into you. So let's head on over to the next area where we are going to see some more enemies. Okay, the Skate Goomba. You can, of course, defeat by just going into it. Now we are invincible and in escape. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't expect that. When we went into that thing, it destroyed our skate but we are still invincible. That was so surprising. Okay, we can get the rabbit, no problem, of course. We can defeat those guys by going into them. What about this guy? Oh, it's just immediately turned into coins. Okay, same thing with the uh, cat Goomba. Yep, same thing with the cat Goomba. What about Meowser, though? Let's see, okay, so let's first grab this. Looks like the pink fire doesn't damage us, but what if we go into him? We can't defeat him by going into him like that. We destroy the crates immediately by going into them. We can destroy these guys immediately by going into them, but wow, that's actually so surprising that we can't defeat Meowser like this. You have to actually just like walk around him. Okay, now these guys, you can actually defeat them by just normally walking into them, but oh, you actually knock them away like that if you're invincible. Okay, now what about this? Okay, you're also destroyed these things. Wow, I'm surprised that these things aren't destroyed. I think that maybe you could destroy these things with either the golden statue or the white tanuki leaf power up. Okay, but... These guys, let's see, we can defeat them, right? Yeah, these guys, no problem. We can take them out without any issue at all. And if we complete the level while we are invincible, then it looks like we're still glowing like this. Will our glowing go away? Or are we just gonna be glowing Mario like this? That's actually pretty cool, because how long is this power-up supposed to last? I guess we stay purple like that. But if you wait a little bit longer after getting the star power-up when you jump into the goal pole, then it actually can run out. Okay, I also wanted to test this and show you guys. What a weird pipe. Okay, I wanted to add a pipe so that we could go right to Boom Boom, but that's so strange. Okay, I really wanted to test what happens if we use the star power-up on Boom Boom. Okay, and Mario's facing the wrong way. What if we do this? Wow, Boom Boom just doesn't care. Okay, we're able to jump on him fine. We don't get hurt by the shell or anything, but we don't hurt- Whoa, that was weird. I didn't even jump. We just bounced over the shell there. Yeah, now he just goes through us. But yeah, I guess the star power up, it doesn't help with fighting Boo Boo. Well, it doesn't defeat him immediately. And you still have to jump on top of him to damage him. Okay, now let's go to Pom Pom. That's so weird. I placed down this warp box and it's just moving along with the trade. Look at that. Okay, and we get teleported right to here. Move fire, bro. I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze, move fire, bro. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here we are at the Pom Pom fight. I wonder if you could just run into Pom Pom when you're invincible and damage her. Let's see. Oh, you can defeat the fake ones? Wow, but the real Pom Pom, you still have to jump on Pom Pom to damage her. But it's pretty cool how you can just take out the clones just by standing like that. Oh, but look at how weird this is when regular Mario tries to run through one of the clones. Look at what happens. It's so different, actually, when you use the star power up. All right, let's try Histocrat with some super star power ups. I'm not expecting that this one will be very different, but let's see. Okay, if we go like this. Okay, we don't damage him by going into him, and hold on, what about these? Are these special at all? Doesn't look like we can damage these snakes over here either. Yeah, I guess we can go back here and damage this guy just by jumping on him like this. Wait, 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 but what if we just stay up here? Hold on, hold on, because normally this guy damages you. Ah, oh, he just pushes us out of the way. I thought that he would just boost us up and then we'd be able to damage him. It's so weird to hear this music playing during the Histocrat boss fight, but yeah, even when that snake came up, it didn't damage us because we were invincible. So yeah, it looks like the uh, Superstar power-up doesn't really do much to help you in this boss fight, and it's pretty easy to get behind Histocrat and jump onto him like that. So regular bullies are defeated right away when you walk into them when you have this star power-up active. So let's see what happens with the boss Prince Bully. I don't think we'll defeat him, right? Yeah, of course not. Okay, yeah, and we just push him back. Okay, you can push him back into uh, clear pipes quite easily. And you can also just walk into him when he's like that, which is something that you could normally do. But yeah, it's pretty cool how you can just like keep pushing him back like that. Because yeah, normally when you don't have the superstar power up, if you walk into him, then you're just pushed back a little bit like this. You push him back, but you're also pushed back. But with the star power up, it's like we could just keep walking into him. This is a boss that you could really defeat quite gently. I don't think you even have to jump to defeat this boss. You could just keep walking into him. Oh, but I guess uh, you probably do need to jump to collect that star right there to finish the level. Okay, and here's a boss that might be interesting because I'm really curious about what happens when you go into all the little bubbles when you're invincible. I'm guessing this guy won't be able to hurt us while we are invincible, right? Okay, we're invincible. Just jump on me. Jump on me. And? Hey, basically nothing happens. Wait. 
Okay, you can defeat all the little balls by walking into them, but this guy, the actual boss himself, you have to actually jump on him to damage him. And this fight becomes a lot easier when you're invincible like this. And using game cheats like this is similar to life in a way. When you're not being challenged and everything is too easy, all of the fun is gone. You need a challenge. I really recommend you watch my video where we test which enemies giant Mario can defeat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.